I literally had to run in the door for that one. I did grocery shopping, but I am wearing a jumpsuit. So like, I could not do this in the car or the car park or even at the grocery store. So I literally just made it home, walked through the door and I left my phone, couldn't find it. So I had to grab Chad's phone so I had the exact time and I uh, just got it done in the nick of time. <laughs> That went downhill fast. So last night, um, after I raced inside, after grocery shopping to do my injection, I couldn't show you because I was wearing like a one piece. So I pretty much had to get naked straight away. Um, but took that, that was fine. And then um, Chad's making dinner and I had just a couple of chips while I was waiting because I was didn't, I ate really early in the day and I've been eating clean and so it, I was just starving and they were there so I had a couple so this must have been at about um, seven o'clock at night so about an hour after my injection and within about five minutes of eating a couple of chips I noticed that my lip was getting fat I was like what's going on so then my lip started swelling and then I started breaking out in hives and then I got really itchy and I, my whole chest and everywhere where my bra line was broke out in a massive welted like rash sort of thing. And I was trying really hard not to freak out and I'm thinking, okay, uh, the chips I've had before never had a problem. Um, could it really be that? And I'm like, my injections I haven't had any problems but they're the only two things anywhere close to that time that I'd taken so I called the emergency number for the IVF clinic um, they got back to me within a minute of me because they you just leave a message so I within a minute they called me right back um, I told them what happened. She asked me lots of questions including like was it interfering with my breathing or was my tongue you know, did I have hives on my tongue or throat or was I having difficulty breathing? Any of that kind of stuff, which I wasn't. Um, so at that point she goes, it didn't seem like it was from the medication because that would be around the injection site um, and it's usually not around the mouth. Um, so considering I ate the chips and that was the closest time to the reactions, that's more likely what it was. Um, the only other thing I could think of is if I got bit by something and just didn't notice it. But anyway, so um, I checked with her. She said it was fine for me to take any histamines um, to help with that. So I took two. I slept through it. Chad kept an eye on me last night that my breathing was all fine and um, woke up this morning and they'd all disappeared. So the clinic, the IVF clinic called back just to check and see how I was doing this morning. I told them what happened and how uh, the hives had pretty much, like, they'd all gone away and um, my lip was back to normal and I still felt fine. So I'm going to continue to take the medication um, and, of course, closely monitor it. If I start having a reaction again, I will call them straight away and go to the emergency department. But that shouldn't be an issue. I'm actually outside the clinic getting ready to go in right now because it's Wednesday. So I finished up my blood test and scan. The blood test, they got me in straight away. No issues there. The scan was running over half an hour late and work had kind of got coverage for me to come in straight afterwards. And of course, I'm now on the road, but I'm supposed to be there. And honestly, it's like at least half an hour to a 40 minute drive away. So I have to let them know that I'm on the way. That's all I can do. So no point stressing about it. Um, 
I did let them know that this may happen like I'll be there but I'll just have to get there as soon as I can after my appointment and can I just say I feel so blessed they have been so incredibly good and flexible about my appointments and just really supportive of me doing the treatment in general and especially to be hired as someone they know you know this is gonna be a probability has just been great you know technically I'm a casual on-call staff member but still it's just it's really nice and refreshing to have a you know a business that really supports you so just really grateful for that um, so yeah anyway today was a little different in the scan which was actually really nice um, the lady recognized me from Monday and so that's great it's always nice when you get to see the same people um, but this time, because there was such a backlog, I don't know if someone called out sick or whatever, but um, she was on her own. And so she had me doing a little check mark list. So she just called out how big each of the follicles were um, that measure over the 10 millimeters. And then they give you a total for left and right. And then she double checks and enters all the data. But it meant like I got to look at the screen, see like the size of them, and they are huge compared to Monday. So um, I would say a lot of them are like double what they were, and that's just two extra days medication. So um, really just grateful uh, to be able to see that and kind of document it. So like I had some big ones, like 23 plus or uh, millimeters, and I had quite a few like on 10 and 11 millimeters but the majority of majority of them were like at the 13 and 14 millimeter mark so I think that's good there was 14 above the 10 millimeter on the right and 13 above the 10 millimeter on the left and there was 24 follicles on the right and 24 follicles on the left so that's great that they're even um, I think and this afternoon I will get to find out when I take my trigger and when my uh, operation will be for retrieval uh, Chad's due to go in to do his semen deposit tomorrow and I'm just really hopeful hey guys so I finished work I got the call well actually I got the message but didn't see the message and then I got three missed calls from the clinic and a text message saying please call the clinic urgent um, speak to the nurse and I was like oh my goodness what's going on I thought maybe because the allergic reaction I had the other day I was kind of worried that they might cancel or something um, but yeah, it was just that I hadn't seen the first text message, which was, it's trigger tonight, which means surgery is on Friday. So, um, yeah, I'm getting ready. I actually finished at six o'clock. The kids left super early, so we got everything closed up and even did some extra chores for them. Um, and it just means that now I'm in my car for six o'clock so I can take my injection because I was supposed to be working until six. So everything just seems to be working out. Um, so I get to start. I have my regular Gonal F now and the Orglatran or however you say the other one. Um, so I take that as normal. Um, and then at eight o'clock tonight, I take the trigger medication. Now, while they were calling me to confirm was because it's a little different than last time. Last time I took 10,000 units and this time they only want me to take one of the two vials that I was prescribed. So one of them is only 5,000. I don't actually know how much is left in this needle. It doesn't look like much. So it's 175. I dial it in like normal, but there may be like 25 units in this one anyway we'll see because it will tell me how much is left once I've fully injected it and um, that way I've got the next needle luckily I checked the next needle ready to go so I do all of that right now so yeah that's two for the Gonal F. I have to do the third one for the Orglatran. B. 
but yeah I'm just finishing all of these and hopefully this is the last bubble in my skin I need to get Good morning, how are you all? Oh, little bits happened. So as you know, um, I had been booked in for egg retrieval surgery. Uh, last night was Thursday night. Um, so I did not need to take any medication. Um, and I was just trying to get ready emotionally um, and prepare myself for today. Um, my sister comes tonight uh, from Queensland, so from the east coast of Australia. And um, so just tried to get a bunch of cleaning and organizing on all of that prepared. And so um, I didn't have too much to do today after surgery, but she doesn't come till the night time. So I do have a little bit of time. Um, yeah, I had kind of got everything her bedroom all situated and as you can see Chad's stuff is getting ready because he leaves pretty much right after the surgery to fly away for work for six days so he'll get back Wednesday and um, yeah so I'm feeling good I just spent some much needed devotional time with God this morning just trying to prepare myself um, and I just feel hopeful and calm and just resting in peace and I'm just really grateful. I could have run around and done like another load of laundry and I could have finished doing the coffee table and wipe over the bathroom sink. Um, but I just felt like instead of doing that stuff, which is surface stuff and can wait, I needed to get my heart and my mind right with God. And um, yeah, I think sometimes we just need to pause and put priorities straight. And today is like the last day of my fast that I've been doing, which has been a, a sugar fast. Um, but I don't know if I'll really introduce much sugar back in anyway, at least not for a while um, or maybe just loosen up a little bit. But I think that's really helped the process and my feelings and um, yeah trying to stick with it as best as I can sorry the neighbor's dog is going crazy um, Chad is off walking Chloe this morning so that's one less thing I had to do and um, yeah we're gonna get ready to leave in about 15 minutes uh, it is 7.30 and um, I need to be there at 8.15 and the surgery is actually at 9am. Um, and as I think I mentioned in the last clip, uh, we have a decent amount of follicles. Uh, they looked a lot bigger than I remembered seeing in the scans last time. Uh, mind you, I got to count them this time. I didn't get to do that last time. So... Um, I feel really good and I, I just feel as ready as I can be. So I'm positive, I'm looking forward, I'm actually excited to get in there and just feel so lucky and blessed that that everything just lined up that um, on Wednesday the scan worked out, I was nervous about the callback situation but that got settled, Chad is able to be here and actually do a fresh deposit and actually can be with me um, while doing the surgery uh, then he goes and my sister gets here tonight um, hopefully I guess I will find out after today but transfer should be on Tuesday I believe um, and yeah I just I feel good we're here <laughs> Hi 
guys I'm post surgery um, not quite sure of the time it is 10 a.m. they took me back at about 9 15 um, to get light up I'm feeling good I'm just having my gluten-free pickies and um, some tea so I'm feeling good uh, they wrote on my hand because it was the first thing they said to me but it looks like we got nine eggs and this time their aim was six to nine I think or six to eight so um, I'm feeling good about the number very similar to last time and um, yeah, when I know more info I'll let you guys know we're home and that was interesting <laughs> the surgery was fine um, we went to get something for me to eat because I was hungry and we were coming out of the parking lot to come home and got into a car accident. Someone backed into us right into my passenger door. Um, I'm fine, it's all okay. Um, our doors just got a bit of a dent, we took their details. She was a young girl, like maybe late teens, early 20s. I just felt bad. Chad was really calm, cool and collected um, and I think I was more just stunned than anything. So we got out, had a look, exchanged details. Um, I don't think she has insurance but we do so we're just, we're doing the right thing, we're going down the right channels. I just hope she's okay and um, yeah, we're fine. It just meant that uh, now Chad's only got a couple of minutes before He's got to go to work, so um, like I said, we're fine, we're okay. This was not the homecoming we were expecting, but uh, rarely do we get what we're really expecting. So um, yeah, when I find out more about how the fertilization and stuff went and what our numbers were actually like, I will fill you in. Thanks for watching and don't forget to hit subscribe and check out our Instagram and Facebook page at Katie's Kanga Pouch.